everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so we've got a very fun bookish video today we're gonna go to the library we're gonna get an iced coffee we're gonna go to the bookshop but the whole point of this kind of video is to show you like a realistic book girly on a budget sort of video just because I'm not one of those people that can just go into a bookshop and buy like 10 books at once I wish <laughs> but I feel like that would overwhelm me like with my TBR so we're gonna go to the library, get some free books, cause that is the whole point of the library. And we'll also pop into a bookshop and maybe just get one book. Cause I do wanna buy a book today, but only one. I do have to return these two books um, and I'm like one week overdue. So I'll go return these and go pick up some new books. So I got the Book Club Hotel by Sarah Morgan and Of Literature and Lattes by Catherine Ray. This is like a small town sort of romance. I didn't end up reading this one. I did read the book club hotel and it was so cute, very festive. I do wish I read it like at Christmas time, like when it was cold or something. Um, Cause it's a very beautiful setting, like a wintry setting and like this hotel and like these women all meet up for their book club. And it's just a really beautiful novel about woman friendship. And yeah, it was just a very cozy setting. So if it is winter where you are, you'd love this. Um, but probably save it for Christmas because it's a very beautiful festive book. I ended up rating it like a 3.25 star. Like it was just a really lovely, easy book to read. Definitely like a little bit on the longer side. I feel like it's not long. It's only 370 pages, but it could have been a little bit shorter in my opinion. But it was definitely great. And I'm really happy that I got it from the library because I do want to only buy books that I think I'll really love. So that's the beautiful thing about the library but i will also go to the bookshop because i do want to buy just one book maybe magnolia parks into the dark but maybe something else we'll see so i'm gonna get ready and then i'll take you guys with me we'll get a coffee we'll go to the library go to the bookshop and just have a fun bookish day together i already have some mascara on but i just want to put on a little bit more makeup just because you know i want to look a bit cute why not that's my favorite thing to do is to look cute and get a coffee and walk around bookshops or libraries. Love it. Okay guys, we are ready to go to the library. Got this cute little tote bag. It says, if I can't take my book, I'm not going, which is so me. <laughs> Got my headphones. We are listening to Reputation. I don't know what it is. I'm just in a Reputation mood.
Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I've got three new books. Well, two from the library and one new book. I struck gold at the library. At first, I couldn't find anything that I wanted and I was like, oh, no, because <laughs> I really wanted to pick up some books from the library, but nothing was really like sparking my interest. And then I saw two books that I've been super curious about reading. Um, but books that I just didn't really want to buy. Sometimes you buy a book and it's not really a book that you know if you're going to enjoy. And so that's what I love about the libraries. I can sort of like dip my toes in it and be like, oh yeah, I do like this book or I like this author. The first book that I got in the library is Earthlings by Sayaka Morata. I've heard um, Jack Edwards talk a lot about this book and he says it's incredible sort of like a fever dream and I've heard that if you loved the movie Saltburn you would love this book because it's kind of just as insane <laughs> as Saltburn and I loved Saltburn so I'm super excited to read it people have said you should go into this without really knowing too much about the plot because it's just an incredible book like super insane lots of random things but also very thought-provoking super excited and We'll see how it goes. I've heard it's very weird and kind of gross though. So I'm kind of scared, which is why again, I didn't want to buy it, but I'm happy I found it at the library. So I can give it a go and see if I do like this author and you know, maybe pick up her other books. Then the other book I found is a book that I do think I'm gonna really like. And that is Alone With You in the Ether by Olive Blake. I don't think it's a love story. I think it's about these two people who meet it says, in a Chicago art gallery, two people meet by chance, and they're two very different kinds of personalities. There's, I think the girl's very, like, erratic and crazy and sort of bipolar, it says here. And then the guy, he's really into, like, calculations and time travel and routine, and they're very different people. And it says at the bottom, could six conversations with a stranger be the variable that disrupts the entire simulation? I don't know. <laughs> we'll give it a go. I am excited because I do think I'm going to really like this book. I've heard really good things about it and a lot of booktubers that I trust have rated this like a five star so I am excited about this one. And then the book that I bought surprised me. I... <laughs> very different to my usual style of books. I went in there with the intention of buying Magnolia Parks Into the Dark um, but I couldn't find it and then I ended up going to like this indie bookshop and I found this book. It's actually a book that's been on my TBR for just about one week. And I'm not going to lie, it does intimidate me, but I'm so excited to read it. And that is this beast of a book. And that is The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I'm probably butchering that. I've never read anything from Dostoevsky, but people say that this is the best book ever written which is quite a big call but i've heard numerous people say like this is the best book ever it'll have you questioning your faith religion your ideas of society what is good what is bad sort of things like that and i'm really intrigued to read this book and just kind of know what it's about if people say it's actually like a murder mystery but sort of underneath all that it is just a book that makes you question just good and evil and just sort of touches on themes like that and apparently it has incredible quotes in it like the whole time you're reading it you just want to underline all these incredible quotes and apparently it's just so good it's gonna like alter your brain chemistry so i'm really really excited again it's quite intimidating because it is a classic i think this book was released in the 1840s and it's translated from russian to english and I am a little bit scared, but I'm also so excited to read a book like this. I did challenge myself in 2024 to read really good literature and just sort of dip my toes in that. Obviously, I love my fantasy romances, my fiction books, my literary, I mean, this is fiction, but my sort of more like contemporary fiction books, whereas I do want to dabble in some books like this that are very thought provoking and ones that I will take my time reading. I think because this is quite intimidating, I'm going to set myself a goal just to read about 15 pages of this every day. I don't know how long that'll take me to finish, probably a few months. Let me know if you want me to like record that journey. It'll be like a three month long video. <laughs> well, a video recorded over three months, but I'm super excited. And I'll show you the video that actually inspired me to buy this book. The way that this book has altered my brain chemistry 
I fear I may never be the same again. I'm only 400 pages into this 1,000 page book and I can already tell that this is going to be my favorite book of all time. It has me questioning my faith, my values. It is so good. The section in here on the Grand Inquisitor, I was speechless. Ivan's poem, Ivan's poem, my jaw was on the floor. It's so good. This is The Brothers Karamazov by Dr. Tavosky. So yeah, essentially I watched this TikTok and then I read all the comments and everyone in the comments was like, oh my God, this book, incredible. Best book I ever read. It changed my life. Da -da 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 -da. Someone even said they found God through Dostoevsky. Yeah, like people are saying here, it's my favorite book ever. It changed my life. Da -da -da -da. Favorite book of all time. And I was like, I need to read this. I need to read this. So I picked it up. <laughs> And I am scared, but I cannot wait to read this. Let me know if you want me to record my journey attempting to read this. I am a little bit scared, but I am so excited. What a successful day.